A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for forty years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger. and then fed you with manna of food unknown to you and your fathers in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the lord do not forget the lord your god who brought you out of the land of egypt that place of slavery who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its sarap serpents and scorpions its parch and waterless ground who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna a food unknown to your fathers word of the lord second reading a reading from the first letter of st paul to the corinthians chapter 10 verses 16 to 17 brothers and sisters the cup of blessing that we bless is it not a participation in the blood of christ the bread that we break is it not a participation in the body of christ because the loaf of bread is one we though many are one body for we all take partake of the one loaf the word of the lord a reading from the holy gospel of saint john Chapter 6 verses 51 to 58 Jesus said to the Jewish crowds I am the living bread that came down from heaven whoever eats this bread will live forever and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world the Jews quarreled among themselves saying how can this man give us his flesh to eat Jesus said to them Amen amen I say to you unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood you do not have life within you whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him on the last day for my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and i in him just as the living father sent me and i have life because of the father so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me this is the bread that came down from heaven unlike your ancestors who ate and still died whoever eats this bread will live forever this is the gospel of the lord my dear friends in jesus christ today is the feast of corpus christi the most holy body and blood of christ in today's go- first reading we listen to that story we are in the wilderness the moses says that god gave this unknown food manna for the people for the, during their hunger in the wilderness they were thirsty they were hungry and he gave water and this unknown bread manna and in the gospel jesus says i am the living bread if we take this wilderness stories in the desert people cry in their most utmost at utter need they are hungry and they are thirsty and they cry for god they know apart from god nobody could nobody can help 
So they are at the providence of God and at that moment God gives them this food. Same wilderness story, when Jesus was tempted, Satan says to turn the stone into bread, but Jesus says, man does not live from bread, bread alone, but from every word that comes from the mouth of God. This wilderness, where it is the parched land and dryness, the word of God and this bread, it almost the same thing. At that moment of dire need, the word of God comes into play and also this bread. Today the feast of most body and blood of Christ. We are, as Catholics, we celebrate this feast with utmost uh, devotion and reverence. A devotion and reverence that tremendous and even mysterious. We are, Jesus is truly, really and substantially present in this small white host of bread. It is not a sign he could be there, he might be there, no. Church says Jesus is truly, really and substantially present in that host and in the vine. In that case, how do I feel attracted to this Christ who is always ever present in this body and blood of Christ? Do I go to the Eucharistic celebration in a worthy manner? Do I see Christ when I see host? If I do know that it is really Jesus Christ, how do I give reverence? The most sac blessed sacrament is always exposed in many churches. How often do I visit just to pray, to relate, to be there? We should ask this every time, dear friends, because this is the core of our belief. Eucharist is, Vatican Council says, the source of our faith and the summit of our faith. The source and summit of our Christian faith is Eucharist. So, in that case, how often do I participate worthily and receive worthily the body of Christ? And we take the body of Christ in procession during these days to show to the world, to the village where I live, this is what I believe. That is why we go in procession. This is my faith. This is what in what I believe. This is Jesus for me. And we ask him to bless our villages, our roads, our houses. So in that case, how do I show my faith in that moment? Do I participate worthily, reverently in those processions? Or is it just a moment of gathering for us? Let us be more devotedly pray to the Blessed Eucharistic Lord so that He may inspire us and He may bless our lives with the knowledge of God. Amen.